All right, we're just going to get this this all started. Hit record. Make sure everybody's muted. All right, so guys, welcome to the Freedom Team call tonight. I'm very excited and honored to be hosting the call tonight. My name is Dusty Duncan. If you don't know me, I'm a Sapphire Ambassador on the Freedom Team. Honored to be here with you tonight to introduce two amazing guest speakers, Mary McCarty and uh, Whitney Fuston. But before we get to these ladies and what they're going to share about tonight, I just wanted to remind everybody um, the convention is coming up in June. Don't forget to register. I was told the other day um, 9,000 people have already registered for convention. Is that not exciting? I was told that there's 12,000 spots, so um, don't miss out. So if you're thinking about waiting to register, don't wait. Jump on there. Get that registration done because we want you there. We want you getting filled up, and we want you as excited as we are. Convention is amazing. Leaders are truly born there because they find out what our company is truly about. Um, so I just thought that I would mention that tonight so that you all have that little bug in your ear. Um, without further ado, let's speak to our very first guest tonight, um, Mary McCarty. So Mary, if you'll go ahead and unmute yourself. Guys, if you didn't realize, Mary made a leaders board um, last week for the um, most new recruits. And so she is gonna share a little bit of her story as well as give you some awesome tips. I couldn't understand you because I don't know if it was on my end or your end, but something was going on the computer. Okay, I'm sorry. I was just introducing you, Mary. So Mary, um, tell us your full name and where you're from. Are we good? Yes. Yes, we're good? Yes. Okay. <laughs> you gotta love technology, especially when it works. Silver City, New Mexico, basically kind of in the middle of, of nowhere. Um, I'm nervous. I took the contract. Um, I started this journey about five months ago. I had seen my buddy toy. She kept posting things about Plexus, had no clue what it was, um, what it could do for you. I just saw pink stuff. Wasn't sure. One day she posted about kidney stones. I had to have kidney stone surgery where they actually cut me open, went inside my kidneys two years ago. And I didn't want to go through that again. I had, I was averaging about five to seven kidney stones a week. Um, and so when Toy posted about a testimony that a man had um, had gotten on Plexus and the kidney stones had stopped, um, I knew that I had to try it. No matter what I had to do, I had to try it. So I called her and I said, okay, explain this to me. How does it work? What's the cheapest way I can get it? Of course she said, become an ambassador. And I said, I'm, I'm not interested in signing up with another company. At the time, I was already with a company and had been for 20 years. Um, I said, I, I can't, I'm not selling anything else. I just want something that will make me feel better. Um, I've been diagnosed with almost all the autoimmune diseases. I had um, lupus, fibromyalgia, Hashimoto's, celiac disease, migraines every day. Um, kidney stones, brain fog, you name it, I pretty much had it. And Toy assured me that it would, that she really felt like it would make a difference. So she said the cheapest way to do it, become an ambassador. So that's what I did. I borrowed the money, didn't have the money, was in a really, really dark place. Um, borrowed the money, got started. And that first month, just because I lost so much weight and was feeling so good everybody kept asking me about it and so I got customers and I thought I I'm not selling anything I'm, I'm just gonna share this with people because I'm sure it's it's not legit um, I got three customers that paid for my product 
for the next month. And then I started realizing maybe there was something to it and, and maybe I could, could actually do, do something with it. So I started, I started researching the company, the products. Uh, I was taking everything faithfully. Um, it has been five months. I had the slightest of a migraine about three, four weeks ago. It lasted maybe an hour, whereas before it would have been 24 to 36 hours and I would have been out, down, cold, no nothing. Um, I haven't had a flare up of anything for five months. I've lost 23 pounds. Yay. Um, you know, but I just, I have lost so much more than the weight, the, the sicknesses. I didn't realize how sick I was. Um, I didn't realize how much brain fog I had. It was unbelievable. Um, so I, I just really kept running with it. The second month, I decided, well, I'm, I might as well do some recruiting, make a little money. And so I recruited me. I went silver. I got a $100 bonus. I really liked that. So I thought, well, maybe if I put a little more effort into it, I can actually do something with this company. So things kind of progress along. I was living in, in Deming, about an hour south of here. I was given an opportunity to move up to Silver City, where I now work six days a week. Um, but I don't have to, it's not real demanding except for the first of the month. So I do have quite a bit of time. I can't leave the property, but I can be online or um, making phone calls, things like that. And so I decided last month that I gold. And when I first started was when she made gold and I thought, there's no way. Obviously she has something, she knows more people than I do, or we know the same people. And I, especially at first, I really wasn't approaching people um it was just um sharing really and i would put things on facebook and then people would respond to me and so when i do see people out and about i guess my approach is never really the same it depends on the situation or um where i see them if i you know if i overhear a conversation um oh your uncle has has diabetes, I'm so sorry. You know, would would you mind if I shared with you? I try to always ask permission, do you mind if I share with you? Whether it's a friend, a stranger, because usually if somebody gives you permission, they're not gonna take the permission back away from, from you. And so um, I would say, you know, well, do, would you mind if I shared with you about a thing about? And, and detail about, you know, how the pink drink helps with um, leveling out your blood sugars, blah, blah, blah. Um, I really try to do low or no pressure. I don't, um, I don't like to be sold something, and so I really don't try to sell, but I do share. Um, most of the recruits that I have gotten have been, um, this, this month, or I'm sorry, in February, um, our team added 14 new team members. Um, I had 11. Um, I my goal was 20, so I fell short, but I still made gold, so I guess that was a good thing. Um, but just sharing benefits as opposed to give a hard sell on really trying to recruit people into the company. Most of the time, I do better at answering questions. I, I just let people. I let people ask me, and also um, one of the things I think has really helped me is I try to overcome the objections before they actually ever say it. So a lot of times, if people look, you can tell just by their by their body language. You give them a catalog, they look at it, they see the price, and it's like, oh my god, without saying anything. And I tell them, you know, when I first got started with this, I didn't have the money to get started. I borrowed the money. But what I found was after the first month, I was able to pay for it strictly out of my Plexus um, income. And because of the health benefits that I have gotten from it, I have been able to cut back on so many other things 
that I had an abundance of money to be able to spend on flexes. So therefore, I started with the triplex, and then I added the vitamins, and then I added the omegas, and it, little by little, I've been adding, um, and I I got my son started on it. So everything has really just kind of been a, a domino effect. Um, They're talking about um, the theme for this year for the Plexus Convention is Dream On. And that's one of the things that I always talk to people about is what are your dreams? Are, do you have little dreams? Do you have big dreams? Um, what, if, what if there were no limitations? What would you do? You could write down a chicken list, you know, things that, that you think you'd like to do, but you really just not real sure that you can accomplish it and then things that you could accomplish. Yeah, I could talk to two or three people a day. Um, and then the next day I could talk to three or four more and, and it's commitment, just continuing to um, talk to people, being accountable with the um, 90 day challenge for me with on Dusty's group has been huge. I had the drive. I had the desire before, but I didn't really have the discipline and I don't know that I still have as much discipline as I need. But no, every day, what I had done that day made me really keep on top of what I had done. So I carry a notebook with me, and I put everything on the notebook, whether it's people I've talked to, people I've thought about talking to, ideas I've had, scripture that comes to me, um, literally anything that happens in my day, it goes in my notebook. Because I figure if I can get it out of my head, get it out of my little brain, get it on paper, then I don't have to worry about it so much. And then it's also helped me so that I can go back. Say I talked to Sally Sue and, and she said, well, not this week or not right now. Well, can I call you in a week? You know, Do I have your permission to contact you again? And so I would write that in there, you know, call Sally in a week and see if her situation has changed. Um, I always try to find the benefit. If if they have a need, I try to fill it, um, whether that be product, um, knowledge, answers. And I always tell people, I'm new. I'm brand new. I don't have all the answers. But if I don't know, I have phone numbers. I have people I can message. I can find out. And usually within just a few minutes, I can answer um, whatever question comes about. So I'm not real sure what else I'm supposed to talk about. All right, can you guys hear me okay? Uh, sorry about that, guys. I am so, so sorry about that. That was awful. Forgive me. Um, Mary, amazing job you did there. Um, I love that you talked about accountability. Love that you talked about keeping a notebook, keeping track of everything. I think that's wonderful pointers. I think that's wonderful information. Great takeaways. I know I was sitting here taking notes, so I'm sure everybody here on this call is taking notes. We are proud to have you as a member of the Freedom Team. Great job for um, going, um, you know, making the leaders board. That's awesome for most new recruits. Congratulations. Now we can see why your dedication, uh, your discipline, and your drive, it's going to take you so far. Thank you so much for sharing. And I loved your testimony. <laughs> Thank you very, very much. Wonderful. So again, guys, I'm so sorry about that little inter interruption there. I was trying to fix the uh, internet system in my home. Um, we're going to move on to our brand new, newly promoted Emerald Ambassador. Sorry, here I am getting emotional again. What is this? I couldn't be more proud of this girl right here that's about to share with you over the next 10 or 15 minutes what has happened with her in the last 30 days. So um, here we go. Brand new Emerald Ambassador, Whitney Fuston. Way to start the pregnant lady off. 
with the crazy hormones making her cry. <laughs> um, ha! I, I just promised myself I wasn't going to cry. Um, and that, that reminds me of how far I've come because used to, when I got asked to speak on a call, I wanted to cry because I got asked to speak and I was so scared. And here I am an Emerald ambassador and crying because I can't believe this is happening to me. Um, so starting, well, I guess at the end of January, my points were looking good, but in my opinion, they weren't looking good enough to go Emerald in February. I was thinking maybe March, maybe April. Um, that, that was kind of my goal was I was going to go, I was going to hit it hard in March and April. Um, and I want to talk about pairing up with someone that's not even on your team. I paired up with, or well, actually Dusty paired me and Jeannie Stratton up and we haven't been the best power partners because we are busy and always doing something, but um, we do talk and we do encourage each other quite a bit. And um, Jeannie just went um, Emerald last month and, or in January, and it just fueled my fire and gave me belief um, I, I don't know why I just thought I can do it so um, Dusty even called me and she said you know what you're going Emerald in February and I was like well okay <laughs> um, and I just decided then and there like I'm gonna do it I'm all, we're all in you know so we set goals and I talked to my girls about goals and um, I had lots of girls wanting to rank up and boy did they I think we had 11 people rank up this last month um, senior golds and senior rubies and golds and silver. It was everybody was ranking up. It was crazy. So we all set our goals and we all just took off. Um, the belief that we all have in ourselves and the product has just blown out of the water um, in the past year or two. You know, we all start thinking what and then the more you do it and the more you hear the, the bigger your belief is and we just had it this month we had a lot of belief in ourselves and and what we were doing um i tried to really pour into my team and help them get to their goals i was offering whatever i could three-way calls messaging um you know flash sales whatever we could do i was just really trying to get them to their goals to get me to my goal and in turn, they were busting their butts to get me to my goal. Um, last night was so stressful. We were trying to get the system to up, uh, update and it wasn't. And we were just, all of us, freaking out. And I actually went to bed not knowing if I was Emerald or not. And I had several on my team texting me, are you Emerald? And I was like, I don't know, I can't say, you know. Woke up early this morning to find out that I was. But um, also I wanted to say that, um, for the longest time, I looked for the secret to network marketing and, and what was it that Dusty had done to get to where she was? And what was she not telling me? What was she trying to make me find out on my own? Um, and that secret, I finally found it out, is there's no secret. You have to be real. You have to be honest. You have to work hard. You have to pour into your team. You have to believe in yourself. You can't give up. Um, you have to be positive and, and you just have to go for it. There's no secret. So. If you're looking for that secret, um, you know, you've got it within you. You just have to pull it out. Um, so I'm so excited that this is happening. Um, I always describe myself as a broke cowboy's wife. My husband is a cowboy. He loves what he does, but we don't make much money at it. And um, <laughs> this is where I get emotional. Um, we're going to, I mean, be able to live so comfortably now i mean more than comfortable um nikki shala was giving me a hard time today she said you can finally trade in that old caddy that you drive i drive a 99 caddy um then i'm getting it traded in for a lexus so sorry i feel like miss america up here um <laughs> but if i can do it you can do it i just want to um share that with everybody just don't give up and like I said, if I'm here, you can be here too. And I'm so thankful for my team. I couldn't have done it without them. So anything else, Dusty, or is that enough crying for one <laughs> evening? <laughs> well, we're both a bunch of, uh, of saps, but it's just because um, I think that why some of you are probably thinking, why are Dusty, why is Whitney emotional? Because it's the hard work that you put behind it. It is the, the stepping up 
that you see come out of somebody to make this happen, the work ethic that comes along with it, and the love that you see between team members all the way. Last night was incredible to see the team members pull up. They were sponsoring people, clear up till 10.50 last night, sponsoring people into the business. And these people were excited to join because they were on fire for what their sponsors were saying they, they were being a part of. Um, Whitney all day worked so hard. Uh, her whole team worked so hard. It was something that it was an honor and a privilege to just watch and be a small part of. These women are amazing. The drive behind them is unmatched, guys. They have just drawn their lines in the sand, realized that there is no secret and there is no substitute for hard work, dedication, and love for their team. And I just felt like I had to say that because that is what I've seen over the last two months, being blessed to watch Jamie and now blessed to watch Whitney. And I watch so many other people rank up and it's not just, not just the Emeralds. I watched people go Ruby this month. I watched them go Senior Gold. I watched them go Senior Ruby. Rank ups everywhere. What does that mean? It means everybody that is on this call tonight, you're all blessing people. You're all changing lives. You're all reaching out to people and sharing with them about something that's incredible. Um, I remember the first time I talked to Whitney and she said, is this really going to work? Can this possibly work? She lived two hours away from any town with a grocery store, you know? And I remember telling her, yes, if you'll give me a chance and just listen to me a little bit and then take it and run, you can turn this into something so special. And she has turned this in so into something incredible. She even asked me one month, I think they paid me wrong. <laughs> That's one of my favorite memories. <laughs> No, they didn't pay her wrong. She had worked and been blessing people all along. So like she said, she was looking for a secret. I promise you all, if there was a secret, I would be telling it to you. Tammy would be telling it to you. Nikki, Kelsey, Kelly, you name it. Every member of this freedom team would be telling you all what the secret was. But you heard it from Whitney, not from me, that it's hard work, dedication love and pouring into your team and drawing your line on the sand and making it happen. Sometimes we get really comfortable with where we are in our business. We think, Oh, it's okay. I'm, I'm still Ruby. I'll, I'll get to senior Ruby in God's time. Well, we have to remember yes, in God's time, but it takes our hard work and a lot of prayers behind that to make it all happen. So I hope that you've um, learned something from these two amazing women tonight. Mary's wonderful journey, Whitney's amazing journey that I know a lot of you have been able to um, watch over the last couple years. See what happens when hard work and dedication and no give up and what can happen whenever you, you put all that together. Some pretty amazing things. So I think that one of the best things you can take away is these women have opened their mouth and they have shared with everybody they know without failing, without ceasing, without any worry, and they have never stopped. They've held themselves accountable. I'm, like I said, I've watched Whitney for two years. This woman is dedicated. I've never seen her take a day and not share something, at least on Facebook, if not contacting people. Mary, she's been with the company a few months, but she is opening her mouth and she is sharing. She's holding herself accountable and she has challenged herself. She is a part of a 90 day challenge group and this woman doesn't miss a day in there. It's amazing to see what happens when these women are just dedicated and do something a little every day. So I think that you guys can learn so much from these women tonight. They're such a blessing to everybody in their path and their lives are changing, and it couldn't be any more amazing for all of us to get to watch. So if you're wondering if you can be in these women's shoes, absolutely. All you have to do is have enough belief in yourself, a little bit of some work ethic, 
and drive to make something happen on a daily basis. So, um, guys, with that said, let's go ahead and um, end this call tonight. We always want to end in prayer. So I just want to ask you all to just pray with me tonight. I just want to say thank you, Lord, for the many blessings that we have been blessed with in this journey. I want to thank you for Plexus. I want to thank you for this team. I want to thank you for all of us that are pouring into each other constantly on a daily basis, not just the, the leaders, but the, the teams, the sidelines, the new members, everybody just joining hands and linking together and truly being one Plexus. We want to thank you for the great, great gifts that you have given with us. We hope and pray we just um, live to your glory and um, magnify you each and every day that we get on this great earth. And so with that, um, in your awesome name we pray, amen. Guys, thank you for a wonderful night. Thank you for a wonderful call. Thank you again, Whitney and Mary. You're such a blessing. Such a blessing.